ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another week of so how was uni this is our first week back after the uh mid sem break it was uh it was great it was eventful it was something let me tell you okay so on monday i got my results back for my clinical assessment and i happy with them as I thought I would be and then we got an email towards the end of the day saying hey guys ignore those results they're not finalized yet and we're like well well I sort of know how it went uh it's not you know it's not terrible it's not like you know like a baseline pass mark or anything it's actually going towards a distinction but it's like one mark off a distinction which really irks me and also I thought that I gave like a, a solid distinction performance I guess I, I still have some stuff to work on in terms of my bedside manner. I think a lot of the marks were lost were due to time and also I didn't really, I did try and a little bit to empathize with the patient but I didn't put her at ease but at the start of the assessment so I think if I had done that, if I had made a connection with her in some way I would have gotten more marks. And another thing is my sheet, my actual form that I had to fill out wasn't completely filled out so I could have lost marks there as well so hopefully when the results actually are finalized and they do come out I get some feedback about it and I can hopefully improve myself that's that's the aim to be able to be a really good physiotherapist Tuesday study day had the day off what did I do I smashed out my reflective statement which is an assignment where we had to reflect back on that clinical assessment and pretty much said the stuff that I've just told you now and it in. It was like, it's done, it's finished, don't want to look at it anymore. It might not be perfect, it's as perfect as I can get it and if I keep looking at it and I keep tweaking it, it's just going to drive me insane. So I'm just, it's handed in, it's there, it's ready, mark it, whatever happens, happens. Hopefully I get a good mark, but I have no idea anymore. Like honestly, I thought I was a really high achieving student. I thought I was, you know, getting that HD uh average but no not anymore this whole cohort this whole group of 60 people who are high achievers because we are all high achievers has like jacked us all around moved us all around and now we're sort of trying to spread out separating the really 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 high achievers from the high achievers from the not so high achievers it's really hard so like just because you get a a credit mark or a pass mark it doesn't mean that you are terrible at what you do it just means you're down this end of the spectrum of really good people so you have to be the best of the best the top of the top in order to be like a hd average student and yeah it's annoying me but you know it's a it's a something you need to come to accept you can't always be head honcho top dog etc etc you just got to be happy with what i'm doing and improve as much as i can listen to my feedback take it on I feel happy in my performance and I feel happy in the way that I do things in the work that I do and be proud about it you know if, I, if that if that's lacking then that's probably more an indication of not doing so well Thursday for core practice we learned about wrist manipulation and mobilization I felt a lot more confident in asking the uh, teacher questions not only just asking him questions but performing the actual mobilization or the manipulation on him uh, and getting feedback from him like before I was very afraid I didn't want to be judged things like that but you've got to embrace judgment you've got to embrace the fact that you might be doing something wrong I know you might want to be getting it perfect right from the get-go but that's not reality that's not how it works you've got to be able to work on it and improve yourself and uh, if he's the expert in the room he's the one you want to talk to about it so yeah I felt really good that I was able to be more confident and ask him questions and practice with him and get feedback. I definitely have to push myself a little bit further in uh, in asking and reaching out and getting help because of that. that is one of my one one of my hang ups like I can't ask for help. I'm just like, oh that and asking questions like I just don't hmm yeah. It feeds a lot into my whole um social phobia anxiety disorder so I like I understand the cause of it so I just need to push myself. Just need to be a bit brave, you know, just make myself feel a little bit uncomfortable. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. You'll be a better physiotherapist for it. That's what I should remind myself when I'm feeling that way. This morning, uh, for core practice, it was a revision session. So week one, all the way 
through to week nine, we went over everything. It was really good. I feel like we've got a pretty good grasp on how to do most of the maneuvers we've been taught. I feel like even if we didn't know what it was by reading what it is, we could probably show someone how to do it. And it's just a matter of you finding a way that's comfortable for your patient and for yourself to perform the manipulation or the mobilization. But with these things, it comes down to practice. You're not gonna get it as soon as the teacher shows you how to do it. It's gonna come to you with time. And also you wanna get feedback from the person you're practicing on. Uh, the thing that I get all the time is, ow, that hurts, and I'm like, oh, crap. And what that usually means is, when the teacher comes over, they're like, oh, well, you probably got your grip wrong, or you've got your placement, hand placement wrong, you're doing something like that. I'd make the adjustment, and then it doesn't hurt. So, yeah, you definitely have to get that feedback from the patient, from your partner that you're working with. Uh, in order to improve your technique. I feel like it was a really good week, a really good start back to the next uh, eight weeks of university. I don't just go by in like a snap, like I won't even, I won't even be over before I know it. That's what I'm trying to say. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me talking about university or talking about anything in general, if you want to see me around doing stuff in my whole life, then click the subscribe button and I will see you Tuesday. Because that's the next day that I make videos. So see you Tuesday. Thanks. Peace out.